are you doing, Bounty? Blowing out the bugs in the shower house. Got it all taken care of and everything is looking good. And what are you doing today, ladies? Preparing to send contracts out. Preparing to send contracts out. Yeah. Why are we sending them so early? Well, we can enjoy the holiday season and customers have time pre to prepare for next summer. Okay. Good answer. And Johnny? Um, I was just checking on a, a pontoon boat that we wasn't sure if it got winterized or not or what we were doing with it and just making sure it doesn't get forgot about. Okay. Huh? What are you doing? Like this time roll shorter. Why? Is it too tall? You can't work on it? It's a little tall. Before you had to climb all the way up there. He's working on your motor up here. Usually these boards are holding that here. So when you're working on your motor, it's all up here. So I'm not that tall, so I'm going to break it down a little bit. So I can work on everything right here from the ground instead of out from the but that makes sense not having to use a ladder to work on an outboard motor. Yeah. What are you doing with all of these blocks that we've got for sale? Because we don't block boats on them anymore. I see you making something. Is this like a giant flower bed or something? No, it's a combination table storage area for our chess and checker pieces. What are you doing today, Donna? Oh, just finishing up some laundry from the week. The room's being rented out. Disconnected my water hoses that go to my washing machines, and I'm going to take a gallon of antifreeze and pour it into the tub. I hate to smell this stuff after it's been in the ground or gotten warm. It just smells like rotten eggs. So. I'm going to take them and pour a gallon in there, then I'm going to take the quarters that I got out of there, and I'm going to run it through a cycle. And that's pretty much it. That's a washing machine. So, let me go get my... You have to do certain things to uh, make sure that the toilet's there next year. So. I use this device that we created. It's real simple. It's just a emergency belt pump in the boating world, or what some will call a whaler pump. Basically, I'm going to suck this toilet out completely dry. And then I'm going to pour antifreeze in the tank and flush it, and it'll swirl around, and that will be winterized. So I'm actually not at that stage yet, so I'm not going to pour the antifreeze in yet. I want to flush the entire system. But as long as we're talking about toilets, the toilet was invented hundreds of years ago by some guy in England, Sir John something or other. That's where the John part come from. But the interesting part is that in 1880, Thomas Crapper took that invention and he improved upon it and put a ball cock and a whole bunch of stuff so that the toilet could be mass produced. And they became so widely used that everybody called them crappers and they were gonna go take a crap. So it's like, well, that's a hell of a thing to have you named after. And then I got to thinking the other day, Geez, what if I had invented it or improved upon it and invented it, mass produced it back in 1880? Why'd be taken to Clemens? And then I got to thinking, oh my God, what if a Russian invented it 
or Czechoslovakia. We could be taking like a Zelensky or something. Anyway, very obscure thoughts. So, talk to you all later.